Hey, guess what? It's Baby Snake Day. All right, what's going on, everybody? Joel here from State 48 Exotics, as usual. Uh, big shout out to my man, Harrison, over there at uh, Royal Canvas Exotics. He's doing big things, just got an incredible home for himself. Uh, him and his wife, killing it. Absolutely killing it. Uh, props to you guys, you guys are doing great. Congratulations, you guys have earned it. But yeah, today, we got babies, so it's uh, it's baby day. And the babies of this uh, are for the follow-up clutch. So this is kind of like a continuation of the follow clutch, which is something I talked about a couple episodes, I guess if you're calling this episodes ago, where I was gonna follow along a clutch from its entirety, you know, uh, breeding and then the eggs and then uh, what we get out of the eggs and then obviously the sales and then everything that kind of just comes from it just to kind of give a little insight into, I don't know, the whole process of things. But uh, we finally have the hatchlings. So they're out of the egg. Uh, I didn't actually get the egg cutting segment of this, but we are going to get the cleanup video. So that's actually the cool one anyway. And then obviously the post shed, but uh, I'm telling you this, <laughs> This is a great, this is a great odds. We hit incredible odds on this clutch. So super excited to uh, get these things cleaned up. I haven't really seen them all out of the egg yet. So uh, we're gonna get that right now. All right, everybody. So uh, as you can see here, uh, out of seven eggs, we did, uh, we did pretty good on the odds. And so the pairing of this clutch was the pastel ivory female to a yellow belly or gravel pied, which as you all know, we already knew it was gravel, but we proved it out earlier in a previous clutch. And then this solidifies it. Obviously he is gravel. We just hatched out five highways out of the, that's insane. I cannot, five, five highways, seven eggs, five of them are pastel highways. Not, not even just highways, they're pastel highways, which are also obviously all 100% het for pied, which is perfect like this is insane right here this is this is like a little mini army all in itself right here so um yeah obviously i'm super excited about this clutch but uh without further ado you know let's kind of just look at each individual one really quick all right so first one up here is a yellow belly this is obviously 100 percent het for pied and we know this is a yellow belly because this came from a pastel ivory so every single snake at least has the copy of the yellow belly gene because obviously, you know, the ivory is a super yellow belly. So long story short, we, we know this is a yellow belly, which is awesome. Um, and 100% uh, het pied to boot. But as you can see, uh, an awesome example of a yellow belly. Uh, you know, the, the belly looks great. Uh, I love yellow bellies and what they do with the pattern. I mean, look at that belly pattern is just so cool looking. But yeah, there we go. Yellow belly, 100% het pied. Okay, so next one up, we have uh, this really, really just screamer. Um, look at how bright that animal is. That's just, that's magnificent to me. Um, so this is obviously, this is a pastel yellow belly, 100% het for pied. Just super, super pretty. Obviously that yellow belly and pastel go great together. Uh, pastel, you know, one of those genes, love it or hate it, it's, it's extremely necessary in a lot of these combos and it really just does magnificent things, if, especially, you know, if you're looking to make some yellows, some really, really pretty yellows and oranges. Um, pastel, man, you, you got to figure out a way to use it in your combos. I feel like it, uh, it cannot be overlooked. And all right, this is, uh, this is a little girl. So a little uh, pastel yellow belly, 100% het pied girl. Uh, she's, she is a stunner. Uh, pretty pumped on this girl. So yeah, let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so first one up right here. This is uh, the first pastel highway that I grabbed. 100% um, het pied, just like all the rest. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna probably keep saying that, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna stop saying it, but yeah, this, this I think is my favorite one. Um, super cool pattern. It's almost like there's like another gene at play. It like really broke that up and brought in like a ton of side pattern down the side of this snake. 
I mean, this is just such an incredible combo. You know, three genes at play here. Obviously, the, the Het Pied influence, you know, there, there might be a little bit to it, but I don't know, just, just an absolute stunner. I'm, I'm so happy with the, the results of this clutch. All right, and uh, it's a little boy. So uh, a little male, this dude is going to do some crazy stuff in the future, I feel like. Uh, pumped, 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 pumped on this snake right here. This is amazing. All right, so next one up in no particular order. Uh, another, if you can believe it, Pastel Highway, 100% Hep Pied. <laughs> um, but I remember this being the snake that really brought me back into the ball python world. It's crazy to think that this combo can be improved, but I have seen some combos put in place with this, like, you know, adding Inchy and Leopard and Pinstripe and stuff like that. I mean, there's so much left to do, obviously, within this complex, but just this alone is just insane. And I believe this one to be a male as well. All right, here we go. Another Pastel Highway Hit Pied. Um, it's crazy that each one is its own individual snake. I think, I think that's another cool thing about the Highway Project. Uh, the, the snakes are all different uh, and they can all suit uh, any particular style. So it's cool to see variety in the clutch also when you're hatching all, you know, genetically the exact same snakes. And I believe this one here is a little girl. So great. Uh, 2.1 so far. Woo! Okay, so one more. And this one here, another one. This is kind of more my style. I feel like I, I like that, like, broken up, you know, highway striping kind of pattern like that you would see, like, you know, on an actual highway, stuff like that. But uh, I like how it brings in, you know, a cool side pattern. Uh, and it also seems like this one is a little more contrasted, like the blacks are a little more black. So, you know, hopefully that'll, uh, you know, in time make for prettier and prettier adults. So this kind of is my other little standout, I think, in the clutch. And perfect, because this one is a girl. So maybe this will be my holdback from it. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, there it is. I think, I think this is my holdback, this, uh, this little pastel highway girl here. All right, last but not least, we have this one here. Uh, another stunner, I feel like. This one has almost a complete stripe. So the other side of that is I also really like the complete stripes. Um, so, you know, I, I guess I just, I don't know what I like as it turns out. I just really like ball pythons, but jeez, this is crazy looking. And this entire clutch just absolutely incredible. At stunned, stunned, killed the odds on that. Just crushed the odds. So obviously couldn't be more pleased with this, but uh, let's go ahead and get a sex on this snake real quick. All right, so uh, we got another female. So it looks like we are 2.3 on pastel highways. So great great odds like that's that's like I couldn't ask for a better uh, sex ratio there and then the pastel yellow belly obviously a female as well so uh, exciting this is an exciting clutch couldn't uh, <laughs> like I, the only way it got better is both uh, the the other two snakes I guess could have been pastel highways but I mean how could how could I possibly ask for more all, you know all the snakes were healthy um, they're all doing great and I just can't wait to see them shed out now all right, so there they were. That uh, that clutch blew my mind, and uh, I couldn't couldn't obviously be more grateful. It's uh, we've had we've had some super high highs and some super low lows so far this season, but I feel like on average we're doing great, and it's just been awesome. And seeing all those pastel highways was like ah, uh, it was a dream come true seeing all that, right? Like they're so cool. You you never get a normal snake out of it. And that was something that I was really concerned with when I first started out, kind of getting into, you know, breeding on a, on a larger scale than I had ever thought about in the past was I never really wanted to make a normal snake because I didn't know how hard they would be to sell. And I thought that maybe, you know, investing a little more into these like supers or act like supers and situations like that will, will help me sell the animals better. Um, and so that's why to me, those act like supers and supers are so awesome. You know, I'll, I'll never get a normal snake out of that pairing. Um, I can guarantee it's at least, you know, especially in the, in the ivories case right now, everything's going to be yellow belly. Like there usually isn't a situation where I don't want something to have yellow belly in it. So it's such a cool, uh, complex to work with. And that goes for 
all of these supers and act like supers. I love them. But yeah, awesome clutch. You know, thank you all so much for tuning in. Been super exciting uh, times over here, you know, hatching all these snakes out now. It's uh, it's cool. It's it's really cool. It's it, This is the best time of year. This is always the best time of year. I look forward to it every year and we're in the thick of it now, especially here for me, you know, selfishly. Um, but it's awesome. Um, we only have one more clutch though. So uh, 10th of September, I think, is our last clutch, and that is the Coral Glow Pied Het Clown, uh, bred to a Pied Het Clown. So we have a one in four at hitting a Clown Pied. Uh, all of them will be Pieds, which is really cool. They'll all be 66% Hets, so valuable to me nonetheless, even if we completely whiff, but I have a pretty high expectation and uh i think i think we're gonna get at least one we only have four eggs but i think i think that one in four is gonna play into our favor we're we're hitting three i think actually that's that's actually what i think and i know that sounds greedy but uh you know why not why not be greedy especially with uh, your projects right so we're gonna hit three out of four egg clown pides uh one's gonna be the coral glow we're gonna get two females uh, and then we're gonna get a Coral Glow 66% Het Female Pied. So uh, that's that's what I'm calling. So be ready for that video to come out uh, in the next few weeks. But until uh, and next time, thank you all so much for tuning in. Really appreciate all your time. And I hope you're having a great morning, night, evening, whenever you may be watching this. And we'll see you all later.